Chapter 2 The Cruel Killing Queen The messenger had said that the Queen would be passing through Bewcastle on a tour of the Scottish borders. She would stop at Scuggart Hall for lunch the next day. When the young man in red and gold had gone, the Bewcastle men muttered over their wine cups as the invisible maid heard their terrible talk. Can you see she's listening to their talk? Down in London, they call the Queen Bloody Mary because she burns anyone who doesn't worship at a Catholic church, Sir James Marley of Rough Psych said quietly. She'd burn us if she found anyone who doesn't go to church, Father Walton of Catlaudy Church warned them. Lord Scuggart looked at him sharply. It's your job to make sure people go to church, he said. The priest in the velvet cloak spread his hands and smirked. My lord, it is you the Queen will blame and you the Queen will burn. Lord Scuggart's blotched face turned pale. Everyone in Bewcastle goes to church. Well, they go at Easter and Christmas anyway, don't they? The men brought their heads closer together. We could get all the Bewcastle folk together and have a march through the town to the church just as Queen Mary arrives, Father Walton said. All carrying crosses, Sir James Marley added. And singing hymns, Lord Scudder put in. The Queen will love that. Would the town people do it? Father Walton asked, and his bald head shone yellow in the light of the torches. There's Father Walton. They will if we promise them a few barrels of beer, Lord Scuggart chuckled. The men laughed and held out their wine cups for me to fill. Old Nan doesn't drink, Father Walton said. Lord Scuggart sighed. Who's old Nan? Sir James asked as he cleaned his fingernails with his knife. A wise woman who lives out at Butterburn in the hills, Lord Scuggart snapped. Some say she is a witch. But the truth is, she just mixes herbs and cures made from the plants on the moors. I use them myself, he said. But you wouldn't get her into a church or singing hymns. Perfect, Sir James cried and waved his knife. Queen Mary likes to see her sort burned. So, Lord Scuggart growled, so, burn her. Tomorrow, at noon, in the Market Square, Queen Mary will thank you for the rest of her blood-soaked life. Perfect, Lord Scudder chuckled. Tomorrow, at dawn, we find old Nan. She could be out on the moor collecting herbs at this time of the year, the priest reminded him. We'll track her down. That's what my hunting dogs are for, he said, and threw a scrap of meat to the snapping hounds on the floor. Lord Scudder raised his wine cup and clashed it against the raised cups of the other two. Here's to good Queen Mary, and a death to all her enemies, especially old Nan.